What's up everyone, today I'm going to be talking about my top 3 cryptos you should be looking into for this upcoming month of April. Now, if you haven't noticed, crypto has actually been up these past couple of weeks, mainly because of all the banking issues and collapses that we're seeing around the world. But people are finally starting to realize that crypto might not be a bad place to hold your money, and because of that we're starting to see some more price movement. But the question on everyone's minds is will this continue or will we start to see prices come back down? I personally think the bottom is in and we're only going to be going up. But you guys came here to see what cryptos you should be looking into so let's get into that as always make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe if you guys haven't already i make videos all about crypto and how you can become rich from it so if that interests you guys make sure you guys subscribe but without further ado let's get into the video all right coming up first we have a project called arbitrum now if you're a little more involved in the crypto community you've probably already heard of this coin or project especially in these past couple of months and the reason for that is because of its infamous airdrop where they gave away close to 10 thousand dollars for free now if you don't know what an airdrop is it's basically when a company or project provides free tokens in exchange for using their services now the thing that makes arbitrum's airdrop kind of unique is they never actually announced they were going to do an airdrop at all it was all complete speculation just the community had a strong feeling they would and they ended up doing it anyway i think the max you could have gotten was ten thousand arb tokens and if we value that at its current price right now which is about one dollar it would be worth close to ten thousand dollars not bad for some free money but regardless that's the past nothing we can do about it how can we make money with arbitrum going in the future though first off what is arbitrum and why is everyone talking about it well arbitrum is a layer 2 ethereum solution and i know we hear that all the time but arbitrum is a little different from the rest you can think of it like being another polygon the goal for polygon or any other layer 2 solution is to help scale and grow the layer 1 project and in this case it would be for ethereum now what makes arbitrum unique is a couple of things and i'll talk about some right now and i'll also talk about some more important ones on my computer so make sure you continue watching but the first thing is is they're super user friendly and that's something a lot of other layer twos aren't and nowadays that's all developers care about how simple it is to work on an ecosystem now the way they hook developers into using arbitrum is that they use programming language such as solidity and viper which are the same exact programming languages that ethereum uses and it also runs on ethereum virtual machine or evm which pretty much makes it an ideal identical experience as if a developer was building something on ethereum's network and because of this this allows developers with projects on ethereum to easily and quickly move it over to arbitrum's network without doing a lot of work also another reason why i think it's going to be big is because it uses something called optimistic rollups which is basically taking a bunch of transactions off the chain combining them all together into one transaction and then sending that one transaction into ethereum's network at the same time by doing this it results in lower gas fees and faster transaction times about 40,000 transactions per second can be done on arbitrum's network compared to just 14 on ethereum's but the main reason why the community loves arbitrum so much is because when you switch over to arbitrum's network for example if you're using metamask to interact with the dap it will still show up as eth meaning you're on another network but you can still use it exactly as if you're on ethereum's network but with cheaper fees and the community absolutely loves this and it's not just for metamask arbitrum is integrated with tons of other DeFi protocols like SushiSwap, Curve, and a bunch more. All right, I, I just want to quickly show you how big Arbitrum really is. So I'm on DeFi Llama right now, which pretty much just shows the total value locked amongst all the other chains. So we can see Ethereum has 28, uh, almost 30 billion. Tron has almost 5 billion. Uh, Binance Smart Chain has 5 billion as well. But if we scroll down, look at what's in the fourth place, Arbitrum. Arbitrum is higher than Polygon, higher than Avalanche in terms of total value locked, sitting at 2.2 billion. Now, yes, that's a high number and probably other projects have hit that number before nothing crazy but what's crazy is arbitrum was only launched in august 2021 it hasn't even been a full two years yet and it's ranked number four higher than polygon higher than all these other cryptos that have been around for years what does that show? That shows how much support Arbitrum has as a community. That shows how much people believe in Arbitrum, which is a huge sign. Like 2.2 billion locked in less than two years. I want you guys to understand that's not something easy to do. And if we look at Uniswap, which probably has a total value locked amongst uh, decentralized exchanges, Arbitrum is sitting at number two with $291 million in total value locked. Now, if we look at the chart and the price for Arbitrum, like I said, it's sitting around a dollar. But the thing is, this coin is really new. The project has been out since April 2021, but the coin just dropped, I think, legit like 
five days ago, like a week ago before me making this video. And uh, it started out at $10. I saw a whole bunch of tweets and people were like, uh, the coin's gonna be $10. There's no way it was gonna be $10. It was just an IOU. But a lot of people who, had, who got like 4,000 um, ARB tokens were saying, I just made $40,000 for doing nothing. But obviously when the coin launched, it sitting at close to a dollar, which, you know, still getting four thousand arb tokens worth four thousand dollars that's not bad for doing nothing but so far this this project's doing really good if we go over to the markets tab binance kucoin a lot of large exchanges already support them over a mil over 200 million dollars in volume just on binance alone in under a week i would say that that's really good numbers and then obviously if you look at the technical analysis as always i'm using lux algo that tells me when to buy and sell um i talk about them all the time but if you guys want signals like this i'll put a link to it down below but it's not much to go off of because the coin is very new this is honestly just a super long-term bullish play um, it's a super new coin it hasn't even gone through a bull run um, and we have so much money sitting inside of it so I don't know. For me, I see a lot of potential in this coin. You guys can do your own research, but this is a coin I have my eyes on very, very heavily. All right, coming up next on the list is Uniswap. Now, this is a coin many of you probably already know and possibly own, but for some reason, no one's talking about it anymore, which is kind of weird because when you look at their numbers and the stuff they're doing, you would think everyone would be talking about this coin. Now, I'm not going to bore you with too much of the basics because, like I said, I assume a lot of you guys already know what it is and how it works, but basically, what makes Uniswap unique is that it's an exchange, a decentralized exchange, meaning there's no single company that owns it. For example, like Coinbase and Binance, those are centralized exchanges owned by physical companies, which require you to trust your money in those companies' hands. And we've seen firsthand how that went with all these hacks and scams on these centralized exchanges. Uniswap, on the other hand, is a completely different type of exchange that's fully decentralized, meaning it isn't owned by anyone. It's what you can call a peer-to-peer -peer exchange. Now, the reason you should be looking into Uniswap is to two words, DeFi and innovation. Uniswap pretty much put DeFi on the map. They made it easily accessible to a lot of people. And without Uniswap, we honestly wouldn't have half of these huge cryptos that we talk about today. And it wasn't until after Uniswap came out, we started to see other competitors like PancakeSwap, SushiSwap, and a whole bunch of other exchanges start to pop up as well. But you know what's funny? All those different exchanges do one thing, and that's copy Uniswap. If you look at how they work and all the updates they make, they pretty much mimic Uniswap Uniswap exactly. And the reason is, is because Uniswap knows what they're doing. Over the past three years, they've had three huge updates that consistently made the platform better to use and provided more features that people love. Also, the way they are structured, it allows new projects to be listed on their platform very easily. Now, you can look at that both ways. So I'll leave that up to you guys how you guys want to look at it. But if we also just look at the future of crypto, we're only going to have more adoption. And with these centralized exchanges getting hacked left and right, people are going to look for alternatives. And DEXs or decentralized exchanges are that next big thing. They allow you to trade, earn rewards, have low fees, fast transaction times, which a lot of people are looking for. A couple things about Uniswap. The first thing was, as I was filming this, I just got a strong signal that popped up uh, on this indicator. So um, obviously it'd be too late by the time you guys watch this video, but this would have been a good position to take. Um, but for Uniswap, the thing I want to show you guys, it's, it's all time high, which was close to about $42. Now, Uniswap has been, like I said, around for a really long time. It, the coin dropped in 2020, but the, the project has been out since I believe like 2018, 2019. But the cool thing about Uniswap is it actually had an airdrop just like Arbitrum. Um, I remember because I got Uniswap's airdrop, I was using it before and they airdropped us 400 tokens. And I remember when I got it here, it, it, like when I got it, I was surprised because if you do 400 tokens times three dollars at the time that was twelve hundred dollars that was a lot of money back then um and i just held on to it because i really saw potential and then look at the look at the price so honestly i didn't i held half so i got 400 tokens obviously i picked up more uniswap along the way but i sold half around over here around a 20 dollar mark but i still have the other 200 but if i were to have kept the 400 and i sold at the 42 dollar mark i would have made almost seventeen thousand dollars off of a free airdrop that, that just goes to show the power of of airdrops and the potential it has but regardless you can clearly see that uniswap is down a lot if we head over here to the daily chart we can see that uniswap's down almost 90 percent from its all-time high just like every other crypto but uniswap is one of those cryptos that i can easily easily see it going back up to 40 dollars because like i said it has the potential it's ranked number five in total value lock with 3.86 billion it's always making changes everyone loves uniswap there's no issues with it so for me 
it's like honestly a no-brainer i've always just been picking it up and it's always been like a sleeper coin like i said that no one talks about but i know in the future everyone will be talking about it all right and finally we have a project called aurora now i'm gonna be honest this is a little more on the riskier side but it could have a lot of potential so make sure you guys watch this whole section through now aurora you can think of being like the polygon or arbitrum for near it serves as a layer two solution to make the near blockchain more efficient and easily accessible to more people and one of the biggest ways aurora provides this is by being evm because for near the biggest drawback is it's not evm compatible and since evm is most widely known people prefer to work with cryptos that use that language so that's where aurora comes in it allows ethereum developers to easily come over and build on near with the same language that's pretty much the biggest pro for aurora because unlike polygon which offers fast transaction times and cheaper fees for ethereum near already offers fast and cheap transactions all right, so a couple things about Aurora. The biggest thing is a lot of people don't know this, but Aurora actually offers a 30% AP, staked APY, which is absurd. And no one talks about this because it is a lower key coin. It's ranked number 500 on coin market cap with a mark, uh, volume of only 600,000. But 30% APY is not bad. But the thing is, that looks good, but on the back end, it's not the best because when you have higher APY, uh, when people get their returns or their their money back so if i deposit hundred dollars i get 130 dollars back because of 30 percent you're gonna look to sell it and i think a lot of people are doing that because when we go over here to the price of aurora it's down really really bad so 34 from dollars from its all-time high down to almost 50 cent 50 18 cents which is i would say even close to like a 99 percent drop in its price and another thing i'm not a big fan of with aurora is their tokenomics they have 16 percent uh that's locked up for long-term incentives and a nine percent that's locked up for private round investors the thing is is when you have this much money or percentage locked up early when people get this money they always resort to selling and taking their money back out and we can clearly see this is what happened here now obviously the bear market played an effect but i'm 100 percent sure a lot of people got their money back and they just sold out of this coin and that's one of the reasons why i say it's more of a riskier play but uh, other than that like it has a whole bunch of dApps on its ecosystem that you can use and there's some pretty big names on here um but the biggest thing is is it relates to near and i'm really bullish on near and if you're bullish on near it goes hand in hand so if we see over here uh, around like january 1st 2022 we saw its all-time high and if you go over here january 2022 we saw the all-time high for aurora so um i'm if you want to make this bet or if you want to buy into aurora the biggest thing would be to first you have to be bullish on near but you would hope for the nearest price to go up in the next bull run and aurora's price to follow that would be the best outcome but that was it for today's video guys these were some of the coins that i think you guys should be looking into that i think have a lot of potential in the future as always make sure you guys do your own research this is not fun financial advice at all and if you guys don't know how to do your own research i just made a video last week talking about how i do my own research and how you guys can find cryptos before everybody else so if you guys want to check that out i'll put a link to that video down below but other than that i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in next week's video peace